Hello everyone, my name is Mahshid. My presentation is about developing a privacy-preserving retinal recognition system. Biometrics are those physiological characteristics of individuals which are unique to them, and because of that, we can use them to authenticate people. Examples of biometric characteristics include um, a fingerprint image or, for example, a retinal image. From these biometric characteristics, we can extract biometric features. For example, from the fingerprint image, we can extract minutiae. Or from the vessel pattern in the retinal image, we can extract uh, a vessel skeleton. These biometric characteristics and biometric features are usually represented in a mathematical format. For example, the minutiae can be represented as a set of uh, X and Y coordinates with their relative orientations. Or the vessel skeleton can be represented as a spatial graph. Uh, generally speaking, biometrics are very convenient for the purpose of human recognition. Because unlike passwords and tokens, we don't have to memorize them or carry them around with ourselves. And because biometrics are who we are, not what we know or what we have, they're easy to be used. However, there are privacy concerns related to the use of biometrics. Because biometrics are noisy and fuzzy in nature, we cannot use um, conventional encryption functions to protect them. And it has been shown that unprotected biometric templates can be reverse engineered to biometric samples. And that's, is, uh, that is a huge privacy concern. Because firstly, Biometric samples contain sensitive personal information about us, information about our gender, age, ethnicity, and even about our health condition. Uh, about our, our health condition, for example, we don't like the fact that the health insurance companies can gain information about our health condition if they can access our biometric samples. Also, each individual has a limited number of biometric samples. For example, each one of us has maximum 10 fingers to take prints of. And in case these biometric instances are compromised and shared publicly, they will be lost forever. Because, for example, if your credit card is lost, you can cancel it. If your finger, if your um, um, password is compromised, you can change it. But if your fingerprint is shared publicly, uh, would you be able to cancel your fingers? Can you order a new set of fingers for yourself? In addition to that, if they are compromised, spoofs can be created from them. With today's technologies, it won't be a very difficult task for a criminal to generate, for example, a gummy fingerprint of your fingerprint samples. What if someone commits a crime wearing your biometric characteristics? Because of the mentioned privacy concerns, we should be very careful about the biometric templates that we store inside the databases. They should have fundamental properties. The first property is irreversibility of the templates. Imagine a face recognition system. A user is enrolled in the system and a template will be extracted from his face image. Irreversibility requires that it should be mathematically hard or impossible to reverse engineer this template to the face image. The second property is cancelability of the template. Again, consider a face recognition system. The user is enrolled and a template is stored. In case this template is compromised, we should be able to cancel this template and re-enroll the user using a new template. The last property is unlinkability of templates. Unlinkability makes sure that uh, if a user uses the same biometric characteristic to be enrolled in multiple applications, um, we cannot link the templates of the user among different applications to each other. This is uh, not very difficult to imagine because we have limited number of biometric samples. So if a user enrolls 
is enrolled in two different applications using his face image, it should be mathematically hard to link or relate his templates. But conventional biometric systems extract features and store them inside the databases as unprotected biometric templates. And this is a risk because in case the security of the database is compromised, an attacker can reconstruct the original biometric sample from the unprotected biometric template. The underlying idea of the work that I conducted during my PhD was to avoid storing the unprotected template inside the database and instead storing it in a protected way that is irreversible, unlinkable, and cancelable. Imagine I want to be enrolled in such a system. My retina will be presented and a graph will be extracted from it, but we don't want to store this graph inside the database. Instead, we compare it with a cohort of other graphs that are completely different and independent from my uh, graph. And we will calculate the distances between each of these cohort members and my graph. And we will store these distances inside the database as my data. I have shown that it is mathematically hard and computationally impossible to reverse engineer these distances to the biometric sample. We have published results that showed that the state of the art uh, um, methods that can reconstruct face images from these distances cannot work on retinal images. Hence, what we store inside the database is irreversible. I also uh, evaluated the accuracy of the system that uses these protected templates. The accuracy was approximately 99%, which is very encouraging for a system that protects the privacy of users. I also checked the cancelability of templates. Our templates can be cancelable. We can use a new cohort and re-enroll the user if uh, the templates are compromised. Lastly, uh, we evaluated the unlinkability of our templates. I evaluated the linkability scores of our templates and the linkability scores are represented in the last row of the table. We achieved very low linkability scores compared to other existing biometric systems in the literature. This shows very highly uh, unlinkable templates. In conclusion, the work that I conducted during my PhD proved that the general consensus among the um, researchers in biometrics community that any type of biometric modality can be recreated from distance scores is not correct. And in fact, retina cannot be reconstructed from distance scores. The system that I developed is the first and only uh, privacy-preserving retinal recognition system. During my work, I generated a synthetic retinal data set, which is the largest data set of high-quality retinal images. And the software for the developed system is publicly available for the research community. Here are the references that I used during my presentation, and I thank you for your attention.